Today we will be listening to a detailed audio description of the work High Rise Farrago from our special exhibition Future Retrieval Close Parallel, open now through August 29, 2021. Future Retrieval, the studio collaboration of a former University of Cincinnati faculty members, Katie Parker and Guy Michael Davis, specializes in using historical artworks as a springboard to conceptualize and create fresh, original works that reference or are close parallels to past artistic achievements, while simultaneously vaulting them into a modern day context. Through Future Retrieval's work, both object and installation-based historical designs gain a contemporary relevance and accessibility that entices viewers to dive into forgotten sources and forward-thinking explorations. This farrago, or confused mixture, reads as futuristic or even ritualistic. Considering each element, we see how the artists have borrowed historical artworks in different ways to create a new installation with its own feel. In High Rise Farrago, a large gold disc is placed on a black wall in front of a similarly colored gold terrain. The disc is 36 inches in diameter. It is completely smooth and uniform in its gold color. The terrain is a deep covered dish with a lid that has two handles on its side and another handle on the lid. It is 15 inches long, 15 and a half inches wide, and 10 and a half inches tall. It is glazed in a tan gold color, but due to the texture on the surface, the color is less uniform than the disc. The decoration on the vessel appears worn or faded, and details are difficult to discern. Depressions in the decoration where glaze had gathered appear darker than areas with less texture. This decoration almost appears distressed. Overall, the terrine has a lobbed shape. The handles on either side of the terrine's body are in the shape of goat skulls. The lid has a stretched bell-like shape. This terrine is Future Retrieval's interpretation of a historical Mycin terrine. The artist captured the mice and terrines form on the fly using photogrammetry and a handheld camera during a visit to the museum's storage area. The inherent imperfections of the low-tech scan were embraced and incorporated into the three-dimensional model used to form the multi-part mold required to cast the work in porcelain. The model was purposely scaled larger than the mice and terrine and altered by the addition of goat skull handles, a nod to the skulls punctuating the frieze of the 19th century tripod featured in another part of the exhibition. The terrine is resting on a console table that is 30 and a half inches long, a little over 58 inches wide, and almost 27 inches tall. The four-legged table has a reddish brown marble top with curved undulating edges. The carved wooden base of the table is gilt or covered in a thin layer of gold. The legs, apron, and stretcher of the table are carved with ornate swirling forms featuring complex scrolls, unfurling leaves, and human faces. The legs are connected near the floor by an X-shaped stretcher or support. A sculptural element with a scalloped shell and more scrolls sits where the X meets. On two sides of the table, two black chairs sit. They are 52 inches tall and 16 inches wide. The chairs are made with black open rectangular box shapes. One for the seat and two more thin tall boxes are stacked to make the chair backs. These chairs are inspired by the designs of modernist Paul Frankel, whose skyscraper bookcases are on view in Gallery 211 of the Cincinnati Art Museum. The table and chairs sit on a hand-knotted shag rug that is 10 feet long and 5 feet wide. The rug has a beige background and shows vase shapes and figural sculptures in brown, yellow, black, and teal. These vase shapes are of a ceramic collection that Future Retrieval viewed in a Stockholm museum. Be sure to check back next week for another detailed audio description of a work from the Cincinnati Art Museum's collection.